Good morning, everybody. Buenos dias. Hope everybody's good. Who's ready to sing our song? Thumbs up? Two thumbs up. Yep. <laughs> All right, ready? Good morning, everybody. Nope. Nope. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Oh, yeah. Good morning. You're right. Everyone. Good morning, Good morning everyone. Good morning, Good morning everyone. everyone. Are you ready, Are you ready to have fun? Stand up. And remember, we can do this. Turn, turn around. Turn around. Then sit <laughs> back down again. Give me a great big clap. Now fold your hands in your in lap. Your lap. Hold your hands and make a heart for our I love you ritual. Mm -hmm. And I love you ritual. Here's the cute little bunny. Here's the little bunny with ears so funny. Here's the hole in the ground. When a noise hears, he picks up his ears and jumps into the hole in the ground. He says, oh no, what's that noise? Jumps, jumps, jumps. All right, the story we're going to read today a very it's another scholastic book it's a very special snowflake by don hoffman and illustrated by tad darkie very special snowflake okay one day oh i'm sorry on the day of the big snowstorm jeff and veronica were playing with their new puppy snowflake Veronica glanced out the window. It's like a winter wonderland out there, she said. Let's take Snowflake outside, said Jeff. We can play in the snow. They bundled up on their snowsuits and dashed out the door. Soft snowflakes whirled around them. They were as white and fluffy as the puppy's fur. Look at how beautiful their town is. Snowflake barked with excitement and dove into a snowbank. Jeff and Veronica saw her tail peeking out of the white snow and then suddenly she was gone. Where is Snowflake? cried Veronica. We have to find her. Their neighbor was shoveling the sidewalk. Mrs. Bigsby, they called. Have you seen Snowflake? Miss Bigsby stopped shoveling. Goodness, what are you talking about? I can't keep up with all these snowflakes. There are so many of them. Jeff and Veronica looked at each other. They shrugged and ran to ask somebody else because they, were, they weren't looking for the snowflakes in the sky. Who were they looking for? Snowflake there. Dog, right? Their friend, the florist, a florist is someone who takes care, who delivers or takes care of flowers, pulled up in his truck. He was carrying a large bouquet, lots of flowers together, it's called a bouquet. Mr. James, they called to him. Have you seen Snowflake? Mr. James was busy protecting his flowers from the storm. I've got to keep moving, kids. These, all these snowflakes will freeze my prize roses. Jeff and Veronica looked at each other. They sighed and ran on. All these different people they're running into. Who's that? What do you think his job is? And who's that? Next, they spotted the neighborhood baker. He was delivering cakes for a party. He's the baker. Mr. Ripple, they called. Have you seen Snowflake? Mr. Ripple smiled broadly and held up his cakes. You bet, these snowflakes have inspired me. I've decorated all my cakes with fluffy white icing today. Jeff and Veronica looked at each other. They shook their heads and ran on. Who are they looking for? Sillies. Just up the street, the policewoman was standing at the corner. Officer Huffy, they called to her. Have you seen Snowflake? Mm, do you see Snowflake? Where's Snowflake on this page? You try to find him on all the pages. Officer Huffy proudly put her hands on her hips. Never fear, children, she shouted. It's hard for cars to see you with all these snowflakes falling, but I can help you cross the street. Jeff and Veronica looked at each other. They giggled and ran on. She was keeping them safe like what police officers do. 
Then the mail carrier came trudging down the street. She was carrying her heavy mail bag. Do you see, do you see Snowflake? Miss Jane, they called to her. Have you seen Snowflake? Neither rain nor wind, no snowflakes can stop me, she called back. Stand aside, children, I'm off to finish my route. No one understands, cried Veronica. What will we do? Hmm. See if you can spot him. The children flopped down into a snowbank to rest. They were worried that they might never see their puppy again. Then all of a sudden they noticed a red ball moving near the snowbank and the puppy was pushing it. Snowflake, Veronica exclaimed. You've been here all this time. That's not a snowflake, that's a puppy, exclaimed their neighbors. <laughs> oh, that's so silly. Jeff patted the puppy's head and grinned happily. This is who we were looking for all along, he explained. She is our very special snowflake. The end. Uh-oh, she's running off again. <laughs> the end. It is fun. All right, let's sing our song. Let's sing, see you later. See you later. See you later when we meet again. And we can't wait. wait.